Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit that bell icon down below to be notified every single time I upload a video. Welcome back to day 8 of Daily Devotions with Deshondria. We're doing 31 days of devotion. Let's just get into the word. We're going to take a minute to pray. We're going to soak for a minute. And then we're going to get into the word, which is Ruth 2. Ruth 2. My God. Thank you, Lord. Father God, I just come to you right now. I ask that I decrease so that you may increase. Increase and flow through me. Use me mightily through this word, God. Father God, I just pray that this word penetrates to the right ears, that you send this video to the right people and the right viewers see it. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father God, I just pray a blood covering over myself and all of my possessions and family members, God. I thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, God, for protecting those who are listening. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are excited to hear the word of the Lord for today. So you have given us the book of Ruth. My God, what a book. What a powerful book for the women. What a powerful book for the men. It showcases the love of God. It showcases what relationship is. And I've noticed that there has been a pattern, whether we've been talking about relationships with our family members, relationships with our parents, relationships with you God and now we're talking about relationships with each other and with the opposite sex thank you Jesus we love you we're so gracious and thankful for you thank you Jesus thank you Lord God may our countenance fall upon you thank you Jesus thank you Jesus we welcome you into this moment thank you Lord God may this be a moment about you and less about me thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord God, for this daily devotion. Thank you, God, for this daily time with you. We love you. We're so thankful and gracious. Thank you, Lord God. Amen, amen, amen. All right. Take a moment to just breathe. All right. Check off the stressors of the day. Let's get into the daily devotion. hope that you like the book of Ruth as much as I do. And this is the word of the Lord for today. He wants us to know about relationships with each other and how to do relationship and how to start relationships. So let's get into it. We're in Ruth chapter 2, verses 8. For context, this is when Ruth first meets Boaz. This is her first time meeting him, and they're in the field. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Listen, my daughter. Don't go and gather grain in another field, and don't leave this one, but stay here close to my female servant. Ooh, to me that that saying, when you're in, you're starting a relationship with someone, and you know that your intent, like the man's intent with you, he said his intent from day one was, listen, I don't need you going in nobody else's field. I don't need you trying to build with anyone else. I want you here building with me. I want you with my friends. I want you building with my sister. I want you building with my mother. I want you building with my family. I want you here helping me build. I don't want you building with anyone else. I don't want you planting with anyone else. I don't want you in another person's garden. He said, stay here. And sometimes we need intention. Your intentions need to be made known, men, from day one or from whenever you realize that's the woman I want to be with. That's my wife. That's my girlfriend. That's the, the woman I love, you know, from day one. He said, I don't want you going anywhere else but with, in my, I need you here, okay? See which field they are harvesting and follow them. Haven't I ordered the young men to not touch you? When you are thirsty, go and drink from the jars the young men have sealed. So, he provided water for her to drink. Because when you're out in the field, you know, you're sweating, you're getting, you're going to get thirsty. So, there's provision. 
intentions are made known and then there's provision he's providing for her he's providing help he's letting his friends know that this is the woman I'm presenting you to my friends right now I'm letting my friends know that this is her don't touch her don't bother her don't talk to her don't be in her DMs don't be messaging her hello that's my woman intentions first stage he let his intentions are known and then he made provision for her she fell face down and bowed to the ground and said to him why have I found favor with you so that you notice me although I am a foreigner when a woman has been granted intentions and provision she will submit to you she will be thankful she'll be grateful for the things that you have done for her and she's she's like thank you so much what did i do to deserve this honor what did i do to deserve you thank you lord god what did we do to deserve you god what did we do to deserve you giving your only begotten son for us thank you jesus that that's that's even with the lord his intentions on us is to win souls for the kingdom and then his provision is giving us daily bread it's giving it's making sure our every need is met every single time we he's providing providing for us the more we work for him the more that we bow down to him the more that we do for him he does for us and that's in every relationship thank you jesus friendships as well i am grateful for my friends thank you lord god boaz answered her everything you have done for your mother-in-law since your husband's death has been fully reported to me how you left your father and mother in your native land and how you came to a people you didn't previously know your background Ooh. or your works your servanthood will be reported to that person don't think that people don't check your background people check your history people check to see what good works have you done what what are you doing And he and he heard good things back about her. He heard wonderful things back about her, and he knew instantly she has a good heart. She's good. She's a good servant. The Lord checks your heart. The Lord checks the inner parts of you. He wants to know, okay, well, why should I give you this? Is your heart pure? Are you harboring in unforgiveness? Are you harboring in, um disloyalty what are you harboring in that i can't use you because the lord will just wait on you to fully get to the point where you can be used and if he doesn't see that he can use you for that season he will allow you time to get to what you need get to the place where you need to be and then it'll be your time and then he'll say access granted Access granted, access granted, access granted. Whew. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I hear that for someone. Get your heart right, and then you'll hear access granted. May the Lord reward you for what you have done, and may you receive a full reward from the Lord God of Israel, under whose wings you have come for refuge. Whoo! May the Lord reward you. God is ready to reward you. When you are ready to fully bow down and worship and serve, God can reward you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. For you are in his wings. He's seeking you. He's seeking refuge. You're seeking refuge in the Lord presence right now by being on this while watching this video you are seeking the lord's refuge and he's giving you rewards for it he blessed her with this man because of her servanthood because of her heart posture my lord she said i have found favor with you 
for you have comforted me and encouraged your servant, although I am not like one of your female servants. She knew that she wasn't like his other female servant because guys and any everyone has friends and everyone has people that they serve with but she knew and he knew this isn't just a work relationship at mealtime Boaz told her come over here and have some bread and dip it in the vinegar sauce so she sat beside the harvester and he offered her roasted grain she ate and was satisfied and had some left over. He fed her. It was harvest time. Thank you, Lord. When she got up to gather grain, Boaz ordered his young men, let her even gather grain among the bundles and don't humiliate her. Because she was coming from a land that had no food. And he didn't want her to be humiliated because she was going to gather up a lot of bread to bring back to her storehouse. So that she can feed her family, so, she, so that she can feed her mother-in-law. He gave her bread, money. He fed her. He made sure that she was okay. Here's another example of provision. Men are called to provide for their woman. So Ruth gathered grain in the field, grain in the field, until everything, until evening. She beat out what she had gathered, and it was about 26 quarts of barley. She picked up the grain and went into town, where her mother-in-law saw what she had gleaned. She brought it out, what she had left over from her meal, and gave it to her. Ruth was a giver. She had a kind and pure heart. She didn't mind giving what was left over because she could have been selfish and said, well, I'm not going to give, you know, I'm, yeah, she could have been selfish and said, I'm, I'm not going to give, but instead she gave and she worked until evening to provide and to get the free barley, the free bread that was given to her she wasn't selfish with her bread and she gave that is the word of the Lord I'm actually going to keep reading because it gets better. Her mother-in-law said to her, Where did you gather barley today? Where did you work? May the Lord bless the man who noticed you. And there, her mother-in-law gave her blessing to Boaz. Ruth told her mother-in-law whom she had worked with, and said, The name of the man I worked with today is Boaz. Then Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, May the Lord bless him, because he has not abandoned his kindness to the living or the dead. Naomi continued, The man is a close relative. He is one of our family redeemers. May your family redeemer show his self. May your family redeemer show up. May your family redeemer show up. May the family redeemers show up in this moment, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your provision. Thank you, Lord God, for your intent. Thank you, God, for his 
He will have intention. He will have provision. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And may he be a family redeemer, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you. We're so gracious and thankful for you. I just pray that over the men and women over this broadcast, wherever you are single, we pray that in this season, where whenever you're watching this video, that your family redeemer, that your your godly relationship comes to pass, that it comes into fruition, that it comes. Thank you, Lord God. We we are welcoming kingdom marriages. We are welcoming godly relationships. We are welcoming those into our lives right now. We just thank you, Lord God. And if you have not welcomed the Lord God as your Lord and Savior, just repeat these words after me. Dear Lord, I now realize that I am a sinner and that you died for me. I repent of my sin and ask you to now come into my heart, save me, and take me to heaven when I die. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, 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 amen. The kingdom of light is welcoming you. I'm welcoming you. I'm happy for you. Heaven is having a party right now. Your name has been written in the book of life. God is rejoicing. He is welcoming you with open arms. There is a house being built right now in heaven with your name on it. With your dreams all stored up. Everything that you want for the from the kingdom of life. The kingdom of light is being prepared for you. Thank you, Lord God, for godly relationships. Thank you, God, for godly friendships. Thank you, God, for godly marriages. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for godly family interaction. Thank you, Lord God, that you are ordering the steps of the righteous. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for the, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for a turnaround. I feel a shift in the atmosphere. I hope that you feel that. I hope that that anointing flows on you. We love you. And always remember, please come back for day for all the rest of daily devotions. Like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what resonated in your spirit with um, Ruth, too. I hope you truly enjoyed this word. I sure did. I love you. Always remember that. Be bold. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. And be bold. Good night.